Good evening, Council. Good evening. My name is Paul Herring. I reside at 525 Mason Street. And it's 15 years later. 15 years later. 15 years ago, I stood right at this mic in this very room. I talked to several different faces, but it was 15 years ago when Comcast and this body elected a contract that was more than unfair. You guys remember when they talked about the digital transition, that everybody had to get rid of their old TVs and get new TVs so that we could watch TV? Well, that was true for three years. How many of you looked at your cable bill recently and see that they're charging you additional fees for broadcast television? How many of you have looked at your bills and see that they're charging you additional money for those little boxes that you have to have on your TVs. How many of you know that those little boxes that you have will work on that TV that you put down in the basement because they told you you had to buy a new flat screen? There used to be a time when you could pay cable, and I've been going through old bills at my dad's house, and I found a cable bill from 2005. It was 1995 for the month. And I smiled. It's been 15 years, guys. We gave them a 15-year contract. My question to you is, what do we do now? Is the contract up? Question one. Is the contract coming up? Question two. Is anybody in place in the city government, in the administration, to deal with this contract? Question three. What do we do? What do we do? It's 15 years later. AT&T is providing service in our, in our community. Many of you guys have UVerse, but they're not carrying public access like they're supposed to. The contract says they're supposed to. Question four. Who do I talk to at the city of Flint? What? I'm sorry. No, Who do I talk to at the city of Flint? Who is the liaison in the administration that I can talk to and get some action at Comcast? You know, on Sundays when they play the city council meetings, I've been told it's gone off 10 minutes into the show. I've been told it's gone off 30 minutes into the show. And people think it's my fault. I don't push any buttons down at Comcast. We don't push any buttons here, and that, shame on us for that. Shame on us for that. We've got Channel 18, a beautiful educational channel. It's playing Nassau TV 24-7. Why? We've got universities abundant in this community that could provide educational programming. Why don't we see telecourses on that channel? Why don't we see at least a commercial about registering for Mott College? I don't understand. These are valuable resources. Public access alone could be self-sufficient. And all it would take would be a letter from Mr. Mays, a letter from Mr. Neely, a letter from Mr. Davis, and a letter from you, Mr. Kincaid, to Comcast. It's 15 years later, and you know that channel still says to be announced? <laughs> to be announced. It's 15 years later, and trust me, I've called them. I said, hey, I'll take on the responsibility of providing you a list of programming on Channel 17. Give me the number to Comcast. Give me the number to TV Guide, whatever it takes. I'll take on that responsibility. Mr. Herring, our contract isn't with you. Our contract is with the city of Flint. You can't sue us. You would have to sue the city of Flint. And who wants to do that? So question five, can I get a letter? Can I get a letter to Comcast, to Gerald Smith at Comcast, and say, hey, to be announced is not acceptable. It's 15 years later. If you don't want to do the work, we've got a gentleman in the community that's been struggling with this for 30 years. And he's more than willing to stand up, step up, and take on the responsibility. I'm just asking. I need a letter to AT&T. 
demanding that they carry public access, demanding, not asking, but demanding. And guess what? If there's any costs, I'll foot the bill. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Remember, in all things purely social, we can be as separate as the fingers, y'all. But we've got to be one, like the hand, in all things beneficial to our mutual progress. Thank you, Paul. Our next speaker, Madam Clerk. Our last speaker is Pastor um, W.E. White Whitaker. Okay. Sorry, I couldn't decide.